The different radioactive emissions interact with materials according to their ionizing ability. So let's discuss each of those decays. So alpha particles, they ionize gases very strongly. They have a very shortened range in air and are absorbed by thin paper. Well, why? Well, this is because they are relatively massive, right? They are the most massive of all. So they are basically helium nucleus, so two positive particles, two neutral particles. So it has a large mass and also a charge of two, positive two, the charge of electron, right? So, yeah, that's, that's quite easy to stop, right? A lot of mass, a lot of charge. Think about other particles which are in the medium. They, will, they might also have charge, and if this is very massive, it will interact more with other things, like gravitational forces as well, electromagnetic forces and such. Now, beta particles, since they're smaller, they're basically um, an electron, right? Um, so they are very, very, very small. So that's why they can actually go quite a, a, some, some distance in air, well, compared to our alpha particle that can be stopped by sheets of paper. Here it can travel a few centimeters of tissue, and even metal, just a few millimeters, but it can overcome metal, such as aluminium. So both according uh, mass, it's much, much smaller, because the mass of an electron is negligible compared to the mass of protons and neutrons. So it's, well, it's already thousands of times smaller. And also, it only has one charge, a uh, charge of negative one. So it will interact less, because how are those particles going to interact with the medium? Well, because of their mass, because of their charge, that's, that's how they're going to interfere with things. So if it has less mass and less charge, it will interfere less. Now, gamma rays, since they are electromagnetic waves, they barely interact with matter. And it takes many, many meters of air, or several centimeters of lead, to stop them, to absorb them. Here in this picture, you can see some apparatus to measure the, the penetration effect of objects and radiation sources. So here you could ch change this for alpha, beta, gamma emissions, and you can try different absorbers here. In this case, in the picture, it's a lead plate. You can see some piece of lead here. And, and then you can vary several properties, like the thickness, you can change the material, you can do several things, and, and, and then the particle, um, you can observe, okay, how many of those radioactive particles which were shot from here got to our counter? So here is our Geiger-Muller counter, our Geiger counter, and here we can see how much, how, what fraction of the radioactive source got to the counter. And then you can try to detect, you can infer then um, how did this object, how did its shape stop the particles from going through.